Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Areej and I make videos every week that focus on my self-growth journey. If you like the videos that I post and would like to support my channel, please feel free to subscribe. Taking the time to subscribe to my channel, to like my videos, and to comment on them really does go a long way and I thank you so much in advance. This video is inspired by Caro Arevalo, a Peruvian artist from New York that I have connected with here on YouTube and through Cacao recently. Her videos have been offering me a lot of tranquility during this period of unease and have inspired me to try and spread some of the calmness that I feel from her essence towards you, my audience. Watching Caro's videos lit a spark within me that has allowed me to reconnect with a buried passion of mine, painting. Growing up, I always felt drawn towards visual art, specifically painting. I remember back when I was in kindergarten, each day we would have a play period during the afternoon where we would be allowed to do just that, play. Back then, I was about four years old and I distinctly remember gravitating to two specific playstations, the computer game station and the painting station. I can still remember the scent of the paint how cold it felt when it touched my skin, and how smoothly it glided onto the paper from the seemingly gigantic paintbrush I held in my little hands. Over the years, I have allowed myself to nurture my love for computers, but I've neglected my passion for painting. I took some art classes in school every couple of years to try and satisfy the passion, but never allowed myself to go in too deep. I want to be an artist, but I'm not an artist. I'm not the creative one. My sister Erham is a creative one. I'm the intellectual, the academic, the linear-minded, the scientifically and technologically inclined. I am two years older than my sister, so when I started school and started excelling academically, Erham would spend her newly lonely days engaging in creative activities, making crafts, drawing, and writing. My mom noticed these budding aspirations and began to encourage them. She encouraged Erham's art, and separately, she encouraged my intellectual talents. It was at that exact moment in our lives where we put the first labels on ourselves. It was then when we constructed our first boxes to live in, making our respective realities smaller. I was the one that was going to excel in an intellectual field, while my sister Erham was going to be the artist. In my child mind, it could only be one or the other. For some reason, I thought that we both couldn't exist in the same space. I accepted this as reality and unconsciously cut myself off from believing that maybe I too had creative abilities. Looking at this now, this is also the exact moment that I succumb to prioritizing the masculine energies within me whilst neglecting the feminine, but that's a topic we'll explore another time. I pursued a computer science degree in university and started building an identity around having the strength to exist as a woman in a male-dominated space. Through my schooling, I have always felt like I had something to prove. I felt that I had to continue down this path, and this path only, because it made me more valuable of a person. I thought that this was the message I was put on this earth to share, that girls can shine in a STEM field too. And they can, but only if they want to. I'm only recognizing now how tightly I had been holding on to this belief and how strongly it discouraged me from exploring my other passions. During this isolation period, the biggest realization I've come to is that some of what I've been spending my time on, I'm only doing because it's what I feel like I have to do. For money, for prestige, to satisfy the boundaries and beliefs that I started developing almost 20 years ago. It's made me realize that some parts of my life that I've been pursuing really isn't what my heart's in and that it's time for me to let them go. I have to let them go now so that I can focus all of my energy into what it is that I do want to be doing. My heart is in art. It is in creation and inspiration. It is to spread my message of self-love, authenticity, and vulnerability. It is to spread my light through my creations whether that manifests through my videos, through my words, or now through my paintings. I still have a long path ahead of me in the realm of painting. I still have a lot to learn, but that really doesn't scare me. In fact, it excites me. I have my whole life ahead of me to practice this craft. This isolation period has allowed me to slow down time, to really feel every moment, and to reflect on it. 
I am in the womb right now, figuring out exactly what this era ahead of me will look like. In this period, I am discovering and reconnecting with that whisper that speaks from within myself. That whisper that has been trying to encourage me all along to embody my desires. I finally have the space to be still, to listen, and to surrender to the flow. I am learning that I am always supported and always will be supported, even when my mind can't exactly figure out how. Since this isolation period started, I have started learning how to paint, how to play the piano, how to speak Spanish. I have encountered the spirit of cacao, grown closer to the power of plant medicines, and have understood exactly why my body has rejected eating meat my whole life. I have started to prioritize nurturing my connection to the non-physical realm through a regular yoga and meditation practice. I have started to do everything that I've always wanted to do, but either didn't have the time to do or didn't have the encouragement. You too are currently in the womb. We all are, collectively manifesting the new earth. We are soon to be reborn. What do you want your new life to look like? Is what you were doing before this period what you really want to be doing? What's your whisper guiding you to do? What's it pushing you to focus your attention on? Now is the time to listen, to follow the guidance. That guidance is the key to your fulfillment in this life. You were put on this earth to share a message. Practice listening to that voice to discover exactly what that message is and then embody it fully and completely. Some of you will be like me. You'll be called to start taking action during this time. But for others, this time may be a period of complete rest. You may need to undergo a process of recovery. Listen to the voice. You know exactly what it is you have to do. Neither path is better than the other. The best path is your path as it will ultimately lead you to exactly where it is that you need to be. A place of complete love and peace, a place of perfection, joy, and fulfillment. This is our opportunity to reject the push, the struggle, and to embrace the flow, the ease. What do you want your life to look like once this period of isolation is over? What do you want to spend your time doing? Share it with me in the comments below. I would honestly love to hear it and encourage you. Thank you so much for watching my video. I am sending you so much love and I'm feeling really excited because you've been shown this video for a reason. You were meant to be here at this exact place and time to hear the words that I've been called to speak. Embrace the guidance and let it lead you. I love you so much. See you next week.